All right, I think this might be the ending episode. So where are we right now? We've found out that it wasn't Mia that died. It was the boss who had shape-shifted to look like Mia and fooled Ethan because he's stupid and, and doesn't recognize that it wasn't his wife. Even though she was being kind of a bitch in the beginning. So maybe... Yeah. All right. Well, the, okay. I'll take that. She was being different. And she, and, but, oh, she got shot and died. Well, that was her shape-shifting as a dead person. Okay. So now we're here. Here is a tank with a chainsaw and a rocket launcher. That's probably a flamethrower. Motorcycle, tent, tank tracks. This looks pretty neat, too. Scoop the monsters away. Protect the tires. Now, this was here. The boss... That we've been going after. He left this here. He made this. He His whole power is that he can manipulate metal. This just so happens to be made out of metal that he can't manipulate. And he made it. And left it. Why? Why would he have this? Every single piece is made out of this special metal. Well... There are no coincidences. It must be a sign that it's his time to die. Look how long we have to hold the button to get in this thing. It's epic. Epic button hold. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. <laughs> it's like they came up with the idea of the boss I'm coming, Rose. controlling metal and then like, oh, but we also wanted a tank section. How are we gonna how are we gonna do that? So, coming off the backs of survival horror with limited resources, limited ammunition. Now we're in a super tank that is every weapon and has unlimited ammo. All right. We're in this arena. Okay, that's so bloody loud. Prince, this is Resident Evil. Careful, controlled horror. Ah, <laughs> in the face of my steel glory! Guess I do have to thank that bitch for this. <laughs> I'll kill her with the power she gave me. That's what I call me a good son! Ha 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 ha! Come on! Think I'm just shooting for those arm bits. They seem to make a nice noise. There we go. Yeah, it's making kind of like a, a weird electricity noise. Oh, 
Gimme, give gimme give more. I like how he's sort of dragging his lifeless body towards us. He's still got some power. I don't know if I should be shooting him and stunning him. It's kind of like a glorified uh, quick time event. <laughs> Oh, who's this? Oh my god, they referenced it. They referenced it. Try to run. Sometimes it's really hard to run away from uh, the attacks in this game. Because he can't run sideways and he can't dodge. Final stretch. But we still have to fight Miranda, don't we? I think just shoot this guy. Block. Okay, what do we got here? And we got this little pistol. <laughs> Just shoot him with his little pistol as he goes around like a dinosaur. Maybe. It's hard to tell, like, I don't know if this is going to be... I feel like it's just sort of a cutscene and it's like a... Playing it as a formality, I don't know if I should be... Oh my god, he's in the... He's in his tent now. <laughs> his tank. Uh, it does feel like a lot of this was still designed to be in VR. Because I totally agree, it would be great in VR. A lot of like in-your-face stuff, and a lot of things where they're moving you instead of you moving. There's a lot of times where you're sitting and you're able to move the camera, but you can't move at all in the cutscenes. Which really makes it feel like the VR style of Resident Evil 7. Alpha. He's so what the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Rose? Rose. Ethan! Ethan, respond! <laughs> oh, yeah. Mia. Maybe. Our child. Mamma Mia. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg on, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? She's pretty hot here. I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Miranda. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over the mall? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Calm yourself. So dumb. Rose will be safe. <laughs> the Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However... She will be reborn as my daughter. 
She's my child, not yours. I like how it's a different voice actor trying to sound like Miranda. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Oh, it's the old lady the whole time. Nice. You are truly special. It's exactly what they did but in Resident Evil 7. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Hey, Chase. Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seats records. <laughs> the Mega My Seats? Oh, nice. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Oh, he's dead. Maybe. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. Yeah, drink it. <laughs> Oh, I love the way the blood looks on her face. It's cool. Where'd she come from? Miranda. I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child again. I love how she has six wings. Like the key. All right. So I guess Ethan's dead, but I mean his heart, his hand heals. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. Oh, okay, I guess he's dead. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it god damn it when does it end what's that sir the mission all of it <laughs> three years trying to put this thing in yeah the this whole franchise everything I hear you three years too long <laughs> is that a bit of meta commentary uh, it's almost like we're in a game, you know. We'll get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. Oh, look at that truck. Matte black. Just like I like it. Yeah, Prince, I think you're right. Them well, saying we didn't recover the body. Me. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment. Maybe they'll. No. They're leaving room to bring them back. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. Terminate. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Perfect. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Okay, what do I got? I've got a mid sized semi automatic gun, a fully automatic capable rifle, a laser targeter, hand grenades. A karambit knife. It's great for close combat. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. Let him retire. It's been too long. When's it gonna end? Okay. Hey, Alpha. Look at this. They call him the Alpha. The Alpha Dog. Oh. Yes, sir. 
Two four. Where the VSSA? say? Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Biohazards. Look out for biohazards. Okay, the old village. It's on fire. Oh, look at the little uh, viewfinder. I like that. Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. This is the we thought. I don't want to waste too many bullets. I mean, you obviously have to use as many as you need to to take these guys down. There's nobody helping you. This is so weird. It just feels like a totally different game now. I don't know. You know how the reticule goes wider when you shoot? See, it's wide here. You aim, it goes smaller. When you shoot, it goes bigger. I think you need to wait a few seconds, I guess, for the recoil to go away, right? Oh, big green flare. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Oh, my God. Don't get caught. So much ammo. Let's go. It's interesting how they go like, what the hell is it? But they know what mutamycete is. It's just, I thought mutamycete was so normal. Now there's a lot. Man, why didn't he come in here and take care of all this way before Ethan had to go through all this shit? It's interesting because a lot of this game is, it does feel like they wanted to make a lot of different games and they compromised and just said, okay, we'll make, because the castle is, is sort of like classic Resident Evil. Uh, the toy shop is even like, even less guns, more puzzles. Then when you fight the, a lot of the wolf people, it's tons of action, lots of, uh, lots of ammo. The robot shop as well. The robot shop is probably the best mix of both of those things where it's just kind of nice to look at they don't try to scare you because scaring you is not going to work when you have too much action like this although i've been scared in half-life games hey boss it's me i'm at the location preparing for support fire might be a minute roger tundra here leaving some supplies in one of the houses captain help yourself so i think that robot factory was probably yeah probably the best success of it just it's nice to look at. I think the style of the visuals matched the gameplay. It's really, really long. And then this ending part is sort of taking that a little further. I guess this is more like Resident Evil 5 and 6. Oh, he's got night vision goggles. Cool. And this really embraces it. It kind of feels like this game is the entire history of the Resident Evil franchise. All in one. OK. 
Just jump over that. Can he jump on this? Hmm. That wouldn't be it. Command, I'm really lost. It's hard to know if he can climb up on anything. Because there are some things that you can climb up in this game. Maybe at a window down here. I guess it's kind of fun, like, at the end, you've been dealing with these guys the whole time, so... Why not just be able to smash through them? Just like a god mode at the end, or like a new game plus. Umberize, I need some backup! I see you. 200 to the point. Okay, we've used 200 bullets in the last little bit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. All right. Okay. Reloading now. Just a minute. This is swarm headed that way. Somebody behind me? Oh shit. Whoa. 
target located. Hang on. Roger that. Take that. Good. I think it really wanted me to just do one more of those, probably. But with those big guys coming after me, I didn't think I was able to, you know, stop and mark it and be defenseless. All right. Sometimes you're not sure what, you, what the game wants you to do. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold in the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. This is where the mold came from. Europe. That's why we can't have immigration. Oh, this what? This dickhead again? Starting to make a mighty, huh? Slow up! I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. I think this is all a waste of time. Seems like the block is pretty, uh, pretty useful. Oh, that had a bit of red. I'm overhead. Good. I'll signal with the locator. The dudes in armor mix of the worm, snake, parasites, and bloodborne. Yeah, it's quite—it's a very like incredibly ambitious game for wanting to have this many play so styles. Miranda was the fake Mia. Where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe. We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. It's funny how these Japanese stories where there's parts that don't make sense, they actually address that it doesn't make sense. And then they'll say something like, whatever, it doesn't matter. Or maybe there will be a connection. I oh man. It. It's the Mega My Seed. Looks like something out of Doom. Alpha the squad. I've located the Mega My Seed. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. <sighs> and two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. <laughs> Roger that. Standing by. Captain. I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. 
know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. This must be Miranda's lab. Oh, this is very Resident Evil, the movie. Is that Mia? And so what, Miranda was on the original team? That, that Wesker in the back? My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost her to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megamy site. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamycet regulator, the giant's chalice. All that's left is to merge her with the Megamycet. The ceremony can finally begin. When I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I still wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found it. The Megamycet. Completely by accident. What great writing. The Megamycet breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamycite. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I've experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kadu. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned to lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave, some, I gave them some of the mold and your DNA. But all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I've waited too long to see you again. <laughs> Only when she faced death. Could she accidentally find the key to life? And the point of that is... I don't know. But she is a hottie. I like all these model glamour shots she takes of her kid. It's like uh, something that would show up on Old School Cool and Reddit. Oh, hey. Show me your hands! Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... He's gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Who's also been split up into four or five pieces of yellow goo. It's not safe here after all. But we'll bring in a back, don't you what worry. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. 
I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Even though he's so stupid. And everyone thinks he's stupid. He can regenerate. Whoa. No heart. So does he grow a new one? Or does he just not have a heart, but he lives? Hey, his hands back together. What's going on? <laughs> Who is it? Evelyn? So it's there? It's cold. Welcome, Horky. I think I'm in the afterlife. So, Horg, we just read the part where... How did I get here? God, freezing. You have your hands back, Ethan. Be excited. This shit on my body. He's got shit on his body. The tag fight was kind of fun. It's, it's hard to know, like, what's just going to be a cutscene, what you need to try and do. So, that, that can be kind of... Yeah, he is. Who's this person? Who's the smart person we're talking to now? My new hero. How are you here? You're dead. I know, it's so lame to dead. kill a character and then bring them back. I mean, Miranda. She but if he's the father oh, of the baby no. that's the key, then he would I have some power, have I guess. Rose. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What? Right on cue. Jace, you're not convinced that he's alive. Evelyn's saying he was always dead. Like brain dead? That would make a lot of sense. It does seem brain dead. Okay. Let's keep going. What are you saying? I can still... See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much yeah. you got hurt? Oh my god, they're answering a question! I'm getting chills. Oh my god. The Baker House. Crunch. You were murdered by Jack. Yeah. You died there three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. Why, Ethan? You watch so many people there be basically you immortal. Even be able to walk around. <laughs> Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw you! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> He's such a reactionary little drama queen, eh? I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose. Mia. I... Now do you get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> ah, old moldy Ethan, okay. You can't ever see your family again. Oh. Why? Family. Family. No. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. Dead. 
I will save Rose. All right. I like that he died, and they tied that together. That would make sense for the regenerating powers. But why did she say he can never see your family again? I mean, he's been doing just fine seeing his family for three years. At last, he awakes. The Duke? Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. <sighs> Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well... Falling apart. Yes. <laughs> foolish of me to ask. What, so he's on like a time Speaking frame? Of foolish questions. Who, what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. Great writing. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winter. I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 I have to be. I gotta go. So why now is he melting? I feel like it was a, that's a really cool idea. They were all infected with the mold in RE7. They're infected by it. Okay, so it's not like he was born special or anything. He just wasn't killed by the Bakers. Because we survived. Okay, alright. Maybe it was just exposure. It was everywhere. Maybe the Bakers infected him on purpose. Have something to play with. They were kind of kooky like that. Okay, so we went there to save Mia. So the bakers were just stupid bringing us in. And the mold just infects and infects and what's going to happen? Are we going to kill all these enemies and there be no more mold? No more source of mold? It's all over? Could be. I am the mold. I am your god. Don't quite understand the three-year time limit. Or maybe that's because we got blown up. Or because we had our heart taken out, maybe. They're going to make this a trilogy? Oh my god. daughter come to me if is that you wow it worked oh how i've missed you that's it what <laughs> My power is leaving me! Why? Rose! <sighs> Miranda! Interesting. 
technically he was killed, but the mole's regenerative ability revived him. Lucas had the regenerative abilities, Jack as well. Okay, yeah, I get that, but I'm just wondering, like, is it because she ripped out his heart, so now he's kind of on his last legs? Right, so she was trying to use Rose to get her old, her, yeah, her, her original baby that she lost many years ago. So I think she's bummed, because either that's not her original baby, or because she's losing her power. Your body certainly is normal. Give Rose to me, now! You will see. Once I kill you. Sorry to interrupt again. But based on the beginning of this feeling like a loveless marriage and being scared of your wife, and now this end is a battle over a baby, has the whole thing been a metaphor for like marriage, divorce, and that? Could this be a lot smarter than I think it is? You probably ever. Get her now! No. Did he just spit on her? Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And Show you tried to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! No. Rose is mine! <laughs> what the fuck? I like how she just gets hot, like hotter and hotter and weirder. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Nicholas. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with two kinds. So now you can die and permanent. You are truly a wonderful. Till now, of course. Oh, Ava, my beautiful daughter. You fulfilled your purpose. She sounds so different when she starts speaking there. You fulfilled your purpose. My beautiful daughter. Let's see, what do we get for shortcuts here? Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megaphones. Now, please do not worry, the little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true friends. Wow. So Great. now you can die. I and permanently. Here I come. Get away. Damn, shouldn't have built those walls for him to hide behind. I'll get him. Die. I'm running away. There's nothing. What about me no scoping you? <laughs> Damn! I built the bloody walls again for him to hide by. The music is very, uh, similar. It's nice. Here I come. You understand the level of heritage. Shotgun ammo. How can you deny me? Well, I got a lot of Can't shotgun bullets. Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours. Whoa. I shall put you to rest. Healing juice. You won't interfere. This is I've never seen a human without his heart. Are you sure? The Megamycete saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power! Yeah, right. All it's done is drive me nuts. <laughs> yeah, right, lady. She proves some counseling. You might have a serious mental illness. I'm concerned. 
You're a mother. Well, your baby's dead, but you seem to be After on a quest all, to get another baby. Everyone dies. Fight. Shut up, you crazy bitch! Yeah, I know they're like telling him such amazing things. Wouldn't you just be a little bit curious about them at least? Hmm. What did I just pick up? Just picked up something. Ooh, do I have any wolf bullets? Hmm. I need to get some health. Any health on the ground? Just a little, please. What's that? Hangam ammo. Oh, great. Wonderful. <laughs> health, perhaps. <laughs> Dead! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my house. Oh, rest now. The hell I will! I will take back my daughter! There's a destiny boss that's just like this. It's really cool. Die, 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 die! Oh, this would be a good time to put down a mine. Of which I have none. Okay. I understand your feelings, Mr. Hopkins. Truly. But this is... If I combine Rose with a Megamycet, my daughter will be made manifest at last! I've waited a century. A century! All for this day! <laughs> I love, there's nothing better than running up to an enemy and shooting him with a shotgun in the face. Hold still. Hold still. Yep. Oh, shit. Everyone dies. Yes. Okay. Free fireball. Surely you have no need of us now. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho! I will see my hopes for you. I must. <laughs> oh no! We got here red orange and we have one more first aid. I guess wait till red. You won't like now, when the game tells you to. I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure? Those orange. They could do nothing to assuage. To assuage. See, that's where I think it's the whole metaphor of, like, being, he's, this guy's afraid to have a baby and be with Mia, and now he's in a divorce, and now this woman's telling him what to do, and he doesn't want any part of that. Okay, what do we actually have left? We have a lot of handgun ammo, ammo and we have a pipe bomb, and a flashbang. My what can we make? We can make a mine. That actually might be useful. Okay, let's put the mine on. Of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not <laughs> capable of real love. I will take back my daughter! Die, 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 die! Here I come. <laughs> I love when they say, here I come. So funny. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I, I think I was blocking I while reloading. That was 
was done. None shall interfere in my grand designs. Wretch! Cutscene, that's a good sign. Hear the mind beeping? Oh shit. One second. I think we're good to go. Sunlight comes in. Oh my god, that stupid mine. <laughs> Rose! <laughs> it's so loud. It's, it's alright, Rose. It's alright. What a clean baby. Uh oh. Good timing. So close to the mine. <laughs> Ethan! Ethan! <laughs> and it's going in stereo too from left to right. Wake up. Wouldn't it be awesome if Redfield runs in and hits the mine in the cutscene? It blows up. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan? Each other. We gotta move. Why, what are you afraid of? Why did this part of the thing deteriorate with her power gone on, but there's more of it? Or is he just saying, oh, it's all gonna... What? Is it even bigger now? But that's that thing he's gonna blow up. Gotta move, Ethan. The mine is annoying. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Yeah. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, you don't know what his face looks like, right? Or even his hair. And you tell yourself. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over. <laughs> Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Whoa. Goodbye, so Rose Bear. Ethan. Why are they trusting blowing this thing up with this guy who could die at any second and was about to go unconscious? Ethan, pull the trigger before you die. Oh, that's true. Gotta make sure they get far enough away. So he's Rose! Just seems like a silly thing to trust him with. It. Go! Go! Take us up now!
Get moving. We have to get clear. No, we can't go. Not without my husband. Isn't the last thing he told her was Sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? That was him saying goodbye. What was that? I told you to sit down. Where is he? Chris? What have you done? He's gone! Next time it'll be That's a right. race. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. I like seeing the zombies in the army suits. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Oh man, I think you're right. This does feel like we're gonna have a trilogy. Resident Evil Niner. Someone's gotta pay. Someone's gotta pay. Resident Evil 9. Someone's gotta pay. If they keep making Resident Evil, someone must be paying for them. turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, my 
So is the point, uh, be a good kid, or um, don't take everything that people give to you, or always ask and always be polite? I like the song. I like the song's melody. Yeah, that's... That seems like a strong enough ending. It's pretty fun, actually. The, boss, the, the last boss battle was pretty good. I'm trying to... Um, so yeah, the Lady Dimitrescu boss was kind of lame. The toy one was okay, because it was a bit of a puzzle, and an audio puzzle. Uh, the Wolfman guy one was alright, but it's kind of clunky. Um, that optional one was pretty fun. We fought him up in that, light, in that lighthouse or the windmill or something. And what other ones were there? Oh, yeah, the, the crazy tank one was a good little romp. And then the final boss was the easily the most challenging one. It's the only, the only time I really died in the game. The game was all over the place. Final boss was what you expected. Yeah. Yeah, I expected Lady Dimitrescu to be like that as well. Uh, yeah, this game was all over the bloody place. Lady Dimitrescu's castle. And the... I mean, the village was kind of that... It was more like grungy and dirty and I guess like organic and the castle was so pristine and beautiful and elegant and sort of like like a like you would expect a vampire castle to be. Sort of um, indulging in everything. But they weren't vampires. They were bug people who were affected by the cold. That was actually a nice twist on it. They weren't vampires at all. I don't know why everybody keeps calling them vampires. They're bio weapons. Biohazards. Biological freaks. That's what they were. They were fucking crazy bitches. Like Ethan would say. So Ethan died three years ago. We had the big reveal. That was kind of cool. Didn't really make sense in terms of like... I wish they explained that a bit further. Or linked it together a bit more. So I guess he died because he had his heart torn out perhaps. Yeah, exactly. Why? They're hot, pale ladies that drink blood, of course. You wouldn't listen to it for pleasure? I like the, uh, sort of the dramatic melody and chord changes of it. Yeah, I feel like they... There were some things that they brought in that were pretty cool. Linking him back. And then... For my taste, they tend to always leave so many of these things open-ended. Oh, he's... But he's dying. Why? Because. And that, that was kind of a dream state. When he learned that he had died. I don't know. It's, yeah. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty messy. The game. And the story. The actual gameplay of it was pretty solid. And it was nice to look at all the different areas. It's a, but quite a beautifully designed game. Especially the sound was incredible. Sound design. Um, kind of kind of fun and silly uh, you really have to like a specific style of story to, to like that I don't I don't I don't like it when there's too many open-ended things and it just feels like they're throwing shit at the wall and if it really felt like they were making it up as they went along use this tank the guy who controls metal he created it. He made it out of a material that he can't control. So... Uh, we're gonna use it now. What you find interesting is everybody's the same questions or laughs that Ethan's regenerating, and then it turns out there's the answer. That's, that's why I was really excited. Oh, okay. He did die. And now he's... Now he's being... Okay, regenerated. Just like all the bakers were. Because he was there, he got the mold, he got infected. We got an STD from those guys. Cool. But then, but then it's like it's just wishy-washy after that, you know. Where it's the the characters themselves are always asking these questions. It's almost like it's almost like they're making fun of their own writing. We don't know why, but it just was. That's a, Chris Redfield says something like, "We'll worry about that later." 
Even though, like, the whole story is just, like, a big giant coincidence because Miranda was sad and tried to kill herself in a cave and accidentally found the key to immortality. When he talked to Evelyn, he was in some kind of a limbo. Does that mean there's an afterlife? Yeah, I, I think it just means... I don't think it means anything. I think it's just them throwing out ideas and then you and I have to come up with them. Getty Images is in the credits. We have to fill it in for them. Maybe they try to go for the campy feel in the dialogue on purpose. That's the tone they want. All of them are like that. I don't... I mean, I think this game is a lot of things. It has some, like, campy one-liners. It's got some, like, serious moments where they're trying to scare you. It's got... Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. I bet you that's a developer's You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a cute. I think it sounded real weird but it's like okay you got all this hey, campy Dad. stuff and happy birthday it's like now you want it to be really serious sorry i missed last week i have a lot of tests coming up you know how it is oh no chris talk of the goddamn devil <laughs> she's just like her dad he calls I love you. Talk of the good damn devil. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. All right, look closely at the car. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. NA23 APC. NA23 APC. North America. APC. There's a guy in the road. Gonna run him over. Why not? I feel like when they make this game, they go, why not? Why not? Why not have Ethan's character model at the end? Why not? Why not have him then just die at the end? Why not? Oh, why don't you play as Chris? It'll be totally different. It'll feel like you're playing Call of Duty. Well, why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? 14 hours.
Oh, I think I had a chance to review it. Why did they put in a guy going up to the car? Why not? Will you play as Rose or be abducted by Umbrella? You should play as Rose and Eva and Chris. Why not? Play as all of them. And bring Ethan back. Like, why not? Be cool. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? That's that's like the development team. The people who make all the decision, decisions chanting that at lunchtime. Why not? Why not? <sighs> They're apparently even going to shoot her? Yeah. I mean, why not? And then Chris, Chris Redfield said, No, got to take Eva and Ethan. I've got to monitor them. And then... Miranda escaped. Ethan had mold powers, and then he died because he had his heart ripped out, and then he regenerated enough to keep living long enough just to get to the point where he could blow that place up. Why? How? Because... His regenerative powers only lasted that long. It was pretty convenient timing. That's the power of love. Okay, Huey. It's the power, it's the power of love. Oh, I forgot. It's the power of love and mold. The mold in the village was like a database. Uh-huh. I feel like we have definitely spent more time thinking about this than they have. Why not? Okay, that was kind of a fun game. As a shooter, it's not bad. I think it's its strengths are atmosphere. And some a couple interesting scary moments. More more just like shocking moments. Yeah. It's like a Frankenstein movie, except if they did a crossover one where they just brought in all the different monsters and it wasn't just one story and it was kind of confusing and then the protagonist died in a previous movie and you didn't find out until the second one. That was the coolest idea. But then the, the more they come up with cool ideas, then the more they talk about it, the more I go, okay. You actually don't. You guys are just. You guys do so many ideas that some of them are interesting. Yeah, it's just like. Uh, I guess. I guess. I just wish like f the idea of just kind of oh sit back and enjoy it. I guess I wish they had less cutscenes then, or just less talking, or more to do, and then just enjoy the craziness. Like if you're playing Doom. And there's no real... Doom is just run around real fast. And then you can have just crazy... You can have crazy moments. Why not? Because that's the point of it. But this... It's like they're doing so many different things. It's like you sat down to watch a really serious movie. And then 10 minutes in, there's this like big comedy... It turns into a comedy movie. And then they make you read a comic book. And then you get up and you leave the movie theater and then the move like people are actors are running around outside in the parking lot and then it goes black and white and then you wake up and it was all a dream and then you wake up from the dream and you're in a hospital. Yeah, I really feel like they came up with the tank idea first and then they were like, oh, let's make him. Um, OK, he has this he has this factory. What if he wasn't just an inventor? What if he could control metal? And then they go like, oh shit, we made a tank out of polymer metal blend. He could only control half of it. Yeah. They just forced it all in. I don't know. I, I just think people like cut these games so much slack when it's... To me, it just doesn't... It doesn't really make a lot of sense. And like they can put some things together where you find some links... But it it just really feels forced. 
uh, totally unrelatable, and I it's hard for me to feel anything with it. And maybe that's just a different type of storytelling. Maybe that's just a, like, that's how Japanese tell their stories, maybe. And this is very well accepted. And people, maybe to them, that's like very creative, where they go, oh, I want it to be open-ended. I want to wonder about it. I, I don't. I mean, I watched some crazy stuff. But I just watched two volumes of Love, Death, and Robots. And that's a lot of crazy ideas. Although I do tend to like the ones that explain themselves. Because I think it's more difficult to explain yourself and not just go... And not just leave it open-ended. And just say, why not? Yeah, the villains narrated it a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. And there were so many times that the villains could kill Ethan and they throw him away and then they run after him and try to kill him. Like Lady Dimitrescu. The drama feels too forced for you to take it seriously. That's that's what I mean. You do know there's discussions where people will say they like having ambiguous endings. Same as how there are people who they don't like happy endings. They want something tragic. I mean, for me, I don't care if it's happy, if it's sad, if it's whatever. I just want them to like stick with it, build something, and pay it off. And not just kind of do a bit of this and do a bit of that. Where it was... Like Prince is saying, they want to have moments where they're trying to scare you and then they want to be like, you're a crazy bitch and I'm on a fucking tank with a chainsaw. And then they go, oh, aren't you sad? Ethan died. Even though we told you earlier when he died, he came back immediately and then he died again. So now you're sad. That's also him on the road. Yeah. That's another thing where it seems like they came up with the idea, well, we'll have four bosses. And they go, oh, now we have to make these... And we'll make all the places different. Heisenberg worked really well, but for some reason, his factory was so long compared to the other ones. Like, you go to the doll workshop, and it feels like you just kind of go to a few different spots, and then you're done. I wonder if it's because they're trying to do a lot with one game in terms of trying to answer questions created between the first two while setting up a third, and then also trying to put a little more action and variety. Yeah, that's a good point. It's kind of like why Rise of Skywalker failed. They wanted to pretend... They needed to undo everything the second movie did. Then add the things that the second their second movie would have had. And then also have a third movie that wraps up everything. So they wanted to have... Well, let's have an open-ended village. Let's have four different houses and a final boss. And we're going to make all the houses totally different from each other. And we want to have Chris Redfield... And we want to link it up, link it back to the last game. And we're going to have more guns. And we're going to have way more enemies. And we're going to put it on PS5 and PS4 and PC. I'm surprised they didn't also do it in VR. Maybe they thought, look, if you also make us do this on VR, you're going to kill us. It's, it's quite a surprise that this turned out with, like, basically no bugs. There's, I mean... There are like a few polished things here and there, but only real nitpicks in terms of its overall construction. And that over, like, the for me the the biggest weakness is just that it's all over the place and it it doesn't uh, it just failed to like connect and have any kind of an Im impact. It just wasn't really effective. Lady Dim's legs disappeared. Oh shit. And it did have a lot of immersion breaking moments. Yeah, like you're not, you're not really scared of these monsters that are running around when you can just, if I go in behind this door, the monster will warp back over there and I'm going to come out and take a couple shots. Okay, now I'm in the door. There, stand, there were so many times that a monster was like, and you're just standing in a one spot and you know, oh, if I stand here, you can't get me. So I'm just going to, I'm going to drink a little bit of water. And you keep doing your animations. That boulder punching Chris Redfield. Yeah. Well, we'll just put it in. It'll be a funny joke. Why not? Well, because he probably didn't know that Chris did that. But why not? Well, we told you why. Why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah, I would have... Uh, I'm, I'm always a fan of like edited down experiences, but this was 
it's funny this is like a 12 hour game not including the cutscenes and it felt so long it felt so long because there was this like oh my god because there's kind of like the first couple hours of the opening then Lady Dim's castle for what like four hours the workshop was a couple hours kind of exploring and finding that optional boss was another hour or so the frog area so it's sort of like um, you felt like you played four or five different like mini games in one it was yeah not super effective for me I guess I could recommend it if you want action with a bit of horror a little bit of horror some cool moments a lot of atmosphere some things to look at but if you don't mind tons of immersion breaking and you don't mind a story that is going to go a lot of places and it's going to ask you to fill in a lot of the blanks yourself. And if you're a Resident Evil super fan who likes the entire franchise, I think you would love this because it's basically every single Resident Evil game at the same time. But if you're like me, who's dabbled in Resident Evil 1, thought 1 and 2 were fun because they had some non-intentional bad cheesy acting. And 4 was sort of an interesting way to uh, have a bit more action. It was just like the... I I haven't played all of 4. I think I've played the perfect amount of 4, where I just played up until when you meet the villagers, and they turn on you, and they're running at you, and you go into that house... And then all of a sudden they like have a ladder and they're coming at you and there's like a chainsaw guy and stuff. You'd never seen that shit in video games before. The contact sensitive buttons of like jumping out of a window. And it all felt like if I don't do this, I'm going to die. It was, it was mind blowing. And then I was kind of done with it. So I never got to the, the rest of that game being very, um, any of the weird campy stuff, like the little Napoleon guy. And then I didn't play any of the other ones. I didn't play 5, 6. I didn't say, I didn't play Code Veronica. I didn't play all those ones in between. Resident Evil Revelations. Those were all... So a lot of people who might say, oh, well, that's just how Resident Evil is. It's always campy and crazy. That wasn't to me. Not in the really... Not in like the critically acclaimed ones. The weird thing is how it was sold as a werewolf thing. Yeah. There was nothing to do with, say the moon or any of that sort of traditional werewolf stuff however i mean they said a lot of stuff like oh they just ended up being lichens and they moved on so they just were doing all these experiments and then creating creating monsters out of it so okay they were lichens not werewolves just like lady dim was just a person who liked to drink blood and was pale and lived in a castle in Romania but wasn't a vampire <sighs> Ink of the Dragon pointed this out the last three releases were Resident Evil Remake 2 right? Resident Evil 3 Remake and Resident Evil 7 which are very serious Resident Evil games Resident Evil 2 is like serious, slow paced claustrophobic I don't think it works well when you get into these big open areas. But it's 2021 and every game needs to be slightly open world. Even though it works so much better when you're in these tight quarters. Those were the best moments and the best battles were when you were tight and you were running. There were, I mean, there were a lot of cool moments. I mean, that uh, propeller boss. The, the tank fight. The dollhouse. I liked Lady Dim's daughters and kind of that torture stuff. But like when you think back to when you're first, when they first string you up in Lady Dim's castle and then they rip your hand off, that feels like a completely different game. Even just a few hours after that, they sort of drop all that stuff that was in Resident Evil 7, big time. Resident Evil 7 was a ton of like, everything's gross we're not gonna stab you we're gonna rip your hands off we're gonna rip your like fingernails off we're gonna throw up on you i'm gonna get in a car try to run you over here's the chainsaw everything's in your face claustrophobic tight quarters and then this one 
my other than the small highlights my main memory is kind of walking around a village being lost and then just kind of walking around these big areas. Oh, and then the enemies just kind of being annoying and just blowing them away really quickly. <sighs> Jace really hates being chased when you can't do anything about what's chasing you. Well, yeah, then you definitely wouldn't like Resident Evil 2 or 7. Or the... There's some parts in this where you were chased but you can just run to the save room and as soon as you're in the save room she stops she can't enter the save room it's hallowed ground you know and you can look at her out the door and you can shoot at her and you don't do any damage so it's just dumb worst parts in the horror games are the open world segments they just use to obtain ammo items and nothing else yeah Resident Evil 7 for the for most of it I felt like I was in danger. There were only a few times where I felt like, okay, we're backtracking here and I know there's no enemies. But even still, every once in a while, they'd surprise you. So there was that tension. This one, for most of it, you just felt like nothing really bad was going to happen at all. More willing to try new things these days. You're debated trying some. I would recommend playing the remake or the original of Resident Evil 1 and the remake of Resident Evil 2. And maybe the remastered version of 4. Or 7. If 7, if you really want to be... If you really want to have some like horror in your face. Oh, you have PSVR as well. So... I think I would have had a heart attack if I played that. Remake everything. Remake everything. It's all getting remade. All right. Well, that was Resident Evil Village. I got it because of my niece. So hopefully she watched this. I would have been happy skipping it. So Jillian, if you watch this, let me know. Thanks to everyone else that watched it.